Tip number one, lock on. Shining Resonance Refrain will toss you into battles left and right. Many of these battles can be rough, especially when attacking large groups. One useful feature to utilize is the lock on mechanic, which allows you to lock onto your opponent. This ensures that when you attack, your strikes will be focused in their direction, which will also stop you from wasting critical MP or AP on attacks that simply do no damage. Locking on is useful for defense as well. When you lock onto an enemy, it becomes far easier to move towards and away from them. So when you see them ready in attack, you can easily evade until the attack is finished, then resume your assault. Side note, locking on is almost a necessity when in dragon form, as you can easily lose enemy focus while in a combo. Tip number two, break attacks. Break attacks can be a crucial part of battle if you use them correctly. DPS-wise, they may seem impractical compared to normal attacks, but by comboing standard attacks and tossing in a break attack, this can allow you to break an enemy far easier. Keep an eye on the target marker to get a feel on how close the enemy is to breaking. Once broken, you'll be able to unleash an excessive amount of damage on the enemy. This can be executed easier by finding an enemy's weakness and exploiting it with a force attack. Additionally, many enemies have an opportune moment to attack to increase this chance. Tip number three, character bonds. One thing that makes Shining Resonance Refrain unique from other JRPGs is its character bond mechanic. In this game, the characters can bond in specific ways to each other. By setting different kinds of bonds, you can influence characters to act a certain way towards each other, such as defending one another or casting healing spells. Just be careful. As amazing as it is that Yuma can be best friends with everyone, the group can't help each other out if they're all head over heels for Yuma, so plan your bonds wisely. You can even increase these bonds through regular interaction, or inviting them for a deeper chat around the campfires before resting. Tip number four, MP-AP relationship. To get the most out of a battle, you'll want to keep an eye on your MP and AP. Mana points, or MP, is consumed when executing force attacks, while AP, or action points, are used when doing standard or break attacks. Running out of either can spell quick trouble for your character. Learning a good balance between the two can be the difference between victory and defeat. AP will deplete faster but will also recharge at a quicker rate, while MP will take longer to consume but has a very slow rate of recharge. But when MP attacks are used, they will refill the AP gauge, and when AP attacks are used, they'll refill the MP gauge. Balancing attacks to help fill the gauges can ensure you have the points needed to continue your assault. Tip number five, you're a dragon, Yuma. It may seem OP for Yuma to have the soul of a dragon inside of him, and that's because it totally is. Utilizing Yuma's dragon form can easily change the tides of battle. However, there are some things you need to keep in mind. Firstly, Yuma isn't invincible as the shining dragon. He can still fall. Secondly, Yuma's attacks are quick. As we mentioned earlier, locking on can ensure each of your attacks make contact with the target. Thirdly, you absolutely need to keep an eye on Yuma's MP gauge. When the meter falls below 50%, you gain a chance to go berserk, and this chance increases the further the MP gauge is from 50%. It's okay to leave Dragon Form early and get some standard hits with Yuma in order to pump that gauge back up for round two. Side note, you can maximize your time as the Shining Dragon by staying in form until berserk occurs, then quickly using a band attack to calm the dragon. Shining Resonance Refrain is a fresh changeup from the typical JRPG. Whether it's fighting as an actual dragon, or the way this game uses music and instruments in its game mechanics, this game will leave you with a unique experience. And with the addition of Refrain Mode, game veterans can now get a new fighting style in the form of two new party members. While they aren't new to the story, they were previously unplayable. Now let's use your newfound power and take back the land for the Kingdom of Astoria. Like and share if you enjoy the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.